Hi, this video is about the Caribou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show you the solution from the May 2016 Grade 11-12 Contest Question 15. So the question is, at the local bike rental shop there are five yellow bikes, four green bikes, eight red bikes, and three blue bikes. Anita and Erica go to the rental shop to rent one bicycle each and the shop worker randomly assigns a bicycle to each of them. Anita really wants a yellow bicycle and Erica is hoping to get a blue bicycle. If Anita is the first to rent a bicycle, what is the probability that neither of them get the bicycle color they want? Okay, so from the question it says Anita really wants a yellow bicycle and Erica wants a blue bicycle and then it asks for what is the probability that neither of them get the bicycle color they want? So what it is asking is what is the probability that Anita does not get a yellow bicycle and Erica does not get a blue bicycle. So it's asking for this event to happen and this event. Okay. So normally we could just multiply the probabilities for these two events, but we cannot do that in this case. Now we can't do that in this case because the two events are not completely independent from each other. Now this is so because the probability of Erica not getting a blue bicycle depends on Anita maybe getting a blue bicycle or not since she is the first one to rent a bicycle. So therefore we need two different cases and for the first case we would then have Anita not getting a blue bicycle and in the second case we would have Anita getting a blue bicycle. Now we are able to add the probabilities of these two cases because they do not overlap with each other at all. Now we know that they don't overlap with each other at all because all the case, all the possible outcomes for the first case do not overlap with all possible outcomes of the second case. And we can see this is so because for the first case is Anita not getting a blue bicycle, but for the second case it is Anita getting a blue bicycle. So therefore, since we can't have Anita getting a blue bicycle and then not getting a blue bicycle, so therefore those do not overlap and then we can, so therefore we can add the two probabilities of the cases. Okay, so now let's look at the first case where Anita does not get a blue bicycle and of course does not get a yellow bicycle. Okay, so first we need to find the total number of bikes. Well, we know there are five yellow, four green, eight red, and three blue. So there's a total of 20 bikes. And for the probability of Anita not getting the yellow, well, she starts off with 20, and then not getting a yellow, there are five yellow bikes, so we would subtract five, and there are three blue bikes, so we would subtract three. And we would then multiply this by Erica's probability of not getting a blue bike. And since Anita already takes one bike, we would then have 20 minus one for Erica to get a bike. And then again, we would have 20 minus one in the numerator, since again, one bike is taken. And since we're going off Air Anita not getting a blue bicycle, then there are still three possibilities for Erica to get a blue bicycle. So we would then have minus three. And again, we are adding this to the probability of the second case. And the second case is, again, Anita is the first to rent a bicycle. So again, she has 20. There are 20 bikes, and since this is the probability for Anita getting a blue bicycle, we know there are three bikes, so it is then 3 over 20, and this is multiplied again by the probability of Erica not getting a blue bicycle. And again, we have 20 minus 1 in the, in the denominator, since Anita then gets one bike, and in the numerator we would also have 20 minus 1, but now we know that Anita takes or gets one of the three blue bikes. So therefore, instead of having minus three, we would only have minus two, as there are only two more possibilities for Erica to get a blue bike. 
Okay, so this is equal to, well, 20 minus 5 is 15, minus 3 is 12, so we have 12 over 20. And this is multiplied by, we know 20 minus 1 is 19. 20 minus 1 is 19, minus 3 is 16. And this is added to the probability of the second case, which we know is 3 over 20 times... Then 20 minus 1 is 19, and 20 minus 1 is 19, minus 2 is 17. Okay, so this is the probability that, the, that neither of them get the bicycle color they want. So the correct option would be option D. So the key to solving this problem was realizing when to add and multiply the probabilities and when not to add or multiply the probabilities. Now an example of this is when we, and the example of this is not multiplying two probabilities if they were not completely independent from each other. If you'd like to more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at carewithtests.com.